right. Oh, we don't have oh. we don't have a we don't have a waiter tonight. I'm gonna have to get up and yeah, actually do this I'm duty. Trapped. And we can't make him do it. <laughs> that would be awesome though. <laughs> as as the guest. Uh the fridge is over there, sir. You know where it is. It's all good. Let me get my, yeah. my BYB cast uh hashtag mm -hmm. BYB cast for anybody who's uh, wanting to tweet. Yes. <clears throat> all right. You know what, Chris, do you have another one of those? Yeah, fridge? Yeah. Can you give me one? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Full 90 action. Sorry, wait, don't I look good and make some promotion for them. There you go. Well, I mean, they are the official beer of the and the of the BYB. <laughs> right. All right. Oh, by the way, guys, before we on air. Yeah. Oh, hang on there. Yeah. Um, Here. I have a. Why don't you, uh, we can probably have you just talk about it, like when yeah. you want to when you want to go ahead and Absolutely. do something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. Yes. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So I would like to do that. Totally. Yeah. My beer is now expired, by the way. My beer is in the box up here. Yeah. <laughs> we might talk about some serious. All serious. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Oh, jeez. A little hot there. <laughs> hey, everybody. What's going on? This is the Permanent Relegation Podcast, uh, episode fourteen of Italian. Uh, a familiar guest here, but uh, let's get through all the particulars first because we actually have stuff to talk about before the show even begins. Yep. But uh, of course, I'm Andy. Chris. And as always. Christian, as always. Uh, not, Chris not, not Christian. Not <laughs> Christian. Are we already starting that? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying. You know what? We're gonna, I'm I just, gonna, I'm gonna get, get the it elephant right. out. I'm gonna room. get it right. That that you know, we did this on the last time you're here, but just because people may be confused, and, and I'm not gonna say why they'd be confused. I'm not gonna go down that path. Sure. Who so are you? And you were gonna introduce yourself. I'd say, hey, hi, my name is Chris. You are Christian. Oh, great. And uh Christian. which is not which is not the actual German way of saying it, but how is it? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just uh, Christian. Christian. Okay. Yeah, oh, it not like Christian. It's not Christian. like Cristiano. It's just Christian. Yeah, it's okay. just, uh, yeah. <laughs> but like, I'm okay with, I'm basically okay with everything. Like, I didn't take myself too serious when it comes sure. to my name. <laughs> I realized after four years in America that, that my last name is quite a struggle for Americans. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. It, for, for those of them uh, listening that want to get it right for the rest of the season, what is your, uh, what is your last it's name? Night. <laughs> <laughs> it's Knight. It's actually, his name's Knight Rider. Christian, Christian, Chris Knight. Christian Knight Rider. When he, si when he, when he checks into hotels because he, he's so famous, it's like, oh, my uh, alter ego is Chris Knight. Did you get what I did there, though? What? Christian Knight Rider, a.k.a. David Hasselhoff. Oh, oh, oh because oh. Germans love David anyway, Hasselhoff. It's okay, let's no, keep but it's moving. Lame. It's lame, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it just it felt good. Nicht. It's nicht. Yeah, nicht. But nicht. Um, it's, it's, I realized that that's pretty difficult for Americans nicht to pronounce. Nicht. <laughs> because they, uh, yeah, you don't really have that letter, the combination, and and that uh, pronunciation. Uh, um, no, because so, it would be like nicked. Here it would just be yeah. pronounced nicked, right? Yeah, and I'm totally okay with it. And I'm I'm basically okay with everything. Sure. Uh, um, I mean, so he's okay with anything outside of hey, dickhead. And he's like, <laughs> hey, I don't know you yet. Let's <laughs> yeah, have a beer yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, right? Go down that path. Speaking of beer, technically all right, but <laughs> <laughs> speaking of beer, we're drinking uh, the cans of uh, Flat Twelve's Full nope. Ninety. Oh. Oh, that is a oh. <laughs> uh, the official beer of the Brickyard Battalion. Official beer as of last or two weeks ago of the Permanent Relegation podcast. Boom. Um, funny, funny story. We actually tasted this almost before anybody else in the yep. entire Brickyard Battalion did. No, it was Out, we outside were. of the brewery, basically. Yeah, we were the first. Thanks to Robert Flat Twelve. Take it, taste it right out of the cheers, guys. Right cheers. out of the tank. Shot, cheers. You. Yep. Oh. Mm. Mm. But, uh, of course, every uh, purchase of the cans of <laughs> Full 90, either at the game or at uh, a variety of liquor stores and um, bars around the city, uh, a portion of that actually goes to the BYB directly to pay for all the events and, and promotions 
mm-hmm. the full uh, uh, tailgate for the talk about out here shortly as yes. well. Yes, be down there. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to be a Italian, um, just go to BreakYardOfItalian.com. The link to the podcast is up there. Obviously, PermanentRelegation.com has all sorts of info about it too. Um, and then there and a link. We have a link under yes, our friends page. We do. Well. And then um, Brickyard Battalion actually is doing something with the Wheeler Mission coming up too, um, for uh, uh, like a food drive too that we'll kind of get to later on in the show as well. But uh, let's get down to the meat and potatoes of everything. Um, I don't yeah, know why let's I just get down said to meat the sausage and, and kraut. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, the the Wiener Schnitzel. Oh man. German sausage is not well. Yeah, that's never mind. Okay, never mind. This is Christian, fucking, Christians in your day. first off, Christians in your household, and you just said German sausage sounds <laughs> good right now. <laughs> well, it was earlier, and this is after I said he's going to the every, basement. For everybody who's not watching, actually, I just leaned back and tried to give more space to Chris. <laughs> oh, he's giving okay. the audio commentary. All right, I like there's it. This, there's a thump on the table. Oh, and I said, God. "Dude, come on, oh, come okay. on." And this is. A, <laughs> But uh, uh, of course, you can um, follow us on Twitter at PR Podcast Show. Tweet questions to Christian um, using hashtag BYBCast. <laughs> Should we ask him? At least, I think he knows his Twitter handle this time. Because remember last time we we're like, <laughs> do you tweet? He's like, yeah, the blue bird. No, what's your name? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have it now? Yeah, I have it down. Oh, no, give me a it's, second. I can, I can do it for you. Go ahead. I'm looking at it right I think now. it's yeah. Christian. No, it's no not even close. Yep. It's, it's niche. Uh, uh, why do you ask me that then? Because <laughs> we want you. <laughs> Sounds better. Yeah, and how, I was hoping you, you would learn it by now. He's like, gonna, no, I just use it. How are you going to do some uh, self promotion when you don't know what your Twitter handle is? He doesn't want anybody coming through there. Well, I I'm 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 locked in in my Twitter. So you are locked in on your Twitter. I, I don't even know to this like. It's like people that come into my store and go. I'm like, what's your mobile number? They're like, I don't know. I don't call myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you never give your number out. Worst. It's the no. worst. No, I don't. I don't give my number out. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of numbers, and I'm yep. getting it up right now, we're actually going to have a uh, uh, we have a phone number for people to call in uh, who want to ask Christian any kind of questions and things like that. So we're not going to kind of keep it open the entire show because uh, we don't want to, of course, keep uh, phone calls keep rolling in over and over again. But uh, we do have a phone number. It's be one person yeah. continually <laughs> doing it. This is it. I'm looking at you, Ryan Valley. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just yeah. nonstop. Right. Exactly. Read out, read out. I got another question. <laughs> Uh, and then there's all sorts of stuff going on for Indy 11 this week. Um, right now, the uh, today was social media day, yep. and um, all sorts of events uh, around social media. I know Brad Ring did a Twitter takeover, and uh, uh, Don Smart, and um, now we're right in the midst of the uh, Lock Christian in the basement. <laughs> Corey, uh, um, Corey Miller, Corey Miller yeah. did it. Okay, did a did a yeah. Reddit AMA. Whatever um, that is, but they did that, yeah. <laughs> Technology <laughs> is scary. <laughs> yeah. But of course, they have all sorts of other stuff throughout the week. Uh, you can go to indie11.com uh, in the news section to see all the kind of stuff that they have the rest of the week leading up to the game on Saturday. I picture him in the goal and like tweets are flying at him. He's like, no, <laughs> I don't want any of this. Get out of here. And just to address Peter Evans, uh, we have not been kicked out of Chatham. Uh, no. uh, we're trying to make this a weekly show and we have lives. And so uh, making it a weekly show, sometimes we're going to have to do it uh, uh, from a home base. Uh, but we will be back at Chatham next week. Yes. Uh, with speakers, by the way. So if they aren't expecting us to do something, well, and they can yeah. just hear us. Fishers, know a lot going to the to the bar because Chatham at Fishers is, is an awesome place to go for soccer. So listen to the show. The ability to do that, so you can come out to Chatham, listen to the show, like that. So that's all that stuff out of the way. Okay, let's get to it. Do it. Uh, well, a friend to you. He's gonna get off. Hold me there. <laughs> hey, cool. What? <laughs> <laughs> so you've had a busy off season. A little bit of guys that are on the team right now. Yeah, let's let's start it right off from the last time we talked to you. You were about days away from flying. When did you come back? Tell us about your whirlwind. Well, it's gonna be a long a long story. Um, I came back and. I was planning that anyway to make my off-season program here with um, 
auf dem Guy vom iFast ähm, okay. aus Strength and Conditioning Coaches. Um, and it was basically, uh, I think like four, maybe three or four days into my off-season program. Um, as usual, I didn't pick up my phone when somebody called me. Um, then Jürgen, uh, uh, Sommer, head coach, called me in, uh, or actually called in iFast yeah. um, and asked if I was there. And I was right in the middle of a workout. So he got me on the phone and he... Pick up your phone. You better pick <laughs> up his phone. Okay. And... Um, And he he called me. I talked to me. He said, "Christian, what are you doing?" I said, "Oh, you just <laughs> called me at iFast. I work out, okay? Yeah. <laughs> well, I work out. I Thanks. work out. Right. Um, You're trying to look good. So all right, uh, stop working out. Um, you alone uh, in your plane is going. Said, oh, that's cool. Um, where? Where am I going? By the way, <laughs> <laughs> are you thinking like?" This is a goodbye call like, first year. You know, and it's like, I mean, we all know Jürgen. And he's a yeah. great, a great guy. Um, yeah. Always that relaxed, uh, oh, relaxed <laughs> guy. It's like, no big deal. You're going over to. Uh, it's just like, he's I basically just step. heard that I, I have to leave in four hours. And like all, all like, uh, it was like just up and down for, for, <laughs> yeah, Montreal, they called me an article. No, for one to be. Yeah, how so, uh, really like a, a super short notice and uh, um but but uh, i mean obviously it was a super cool thing at the time. and that i mean how fast it was where yep. it was just like hey four hours you're on a plane like kind of par for the course when people get loaned out to somewhere or I've never been loaned out in my whole career, to oh. be honest. Um, so I don't really know how to. <laughs> had your first loan cherry pot. <laughs> there you go. Um, I don't really know. They talk about a little bit longer than you ask the player. Do you usually I don't think it's 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 that quick and that like. Um, but, but like I said, I've never been. Oh, no, it's it's really kind of a anybody. badge of honor, though, in a way, because I mean, if, if somebody's wanting you to come and they're like, "Hey, can we can we borrow?" They think enough of you as a player that it's like, "Look, we know you're not going to trade him, but can do you mind letting us have him because he's such an asset to you? <laughs> can you mind? I mean, but we know you're not going to give him up because he's yours." But I think that'd be kind of how do you feel about that? I felt I felt great about it. it. Was I mean, I always said when I came to America three years ago, um, MLS. The only goal I'm here is to go to MLS. That's what I. I always yeah. want to do and that's what I still want to do and uh, even though it's not for it's not for the whole time now for the whole year but it was it, it was a big step for me obviously yeah. um, and not only being in an MLS club but also being being part of a Champions League at this point yeah. quarterfinal yeah. which was like oh, yeah. wow we're talking <laughs> yeah. about one of the most probably the most prestigious uh, club tournament all over yeah. the world right um, so uh, it was just awesome. Okay. But it was just like, okay, I gotta find my thoughts right now. I gotta like, <laughs> I gotta need to pack a bag. Like, yeah, I gotta <laughs> pack a bag. Uh, it's just um. Well, what's the weather like in Montreal right <laughs> now? <laughs> so parkas and hats and gloves. Am Got I gonna it, have right. to learn French? Well, uh, um, <laughs> on the on the bright side, um, we haven't been in Montreal at this point too long oh, okay. because I flew to Montreal. I think it was a Wednesday. Trained the first time on. Uh, on a Thursday, train Friday was off, and Sunday morning we flew to Mexico City oh, uh, for four weeks or three, three and a half week training camp. Um, although I have to say, Montreal is a, is a great city. I really, really like the city. Yeah. Um, they're in Toronto, both. I mean, are just they're, they're. It's funny for being big cities; they're very clean. They're yeah, very clean. Yeah. The people and, are great. Uh, I really liked it in Montreal. Um, the only, the only, the only thing. Um, <laughs> People just randomly walk yeah. up to Chris Portia and uh, the firefighter. <laughs> yeah, next door neighbor. Is he coming over. Yeah, yeah okay, Brian's cool. just coming in. <laughs> He's like, "Hey, I'm bringing a cooler, I'm bringing beer." So whatever. we're in um, the neighborhood right now. So yeah. so so anyway, um, it, it was just my. We were talking about middle end of January. I mean, brutally cold and and a hell lot of snow in, in Montreal yeah. at this time. Yeah. So that made that made uh, Mexico City sounded amazing. <laughs> sounded amazing, but. <laughs> How was that? I mean, have you ever been to Mexico City before? No, I've been to Mexico before, but Not more Mexico in like City. a in like a, a holiday resort, right. vacation resort, Cancun, uh, Puerto and, uh, <laughs> right. on the other side of Mexico, but pretty yeah. much the same thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was interesting. It was interesting, and and I'm very like as you as you as you probably know, very like open to new cultures, and like I want to explore 
things and uh, um so it was a it was a super exciting and interesting time for me um although mexico city drove me totally crazy because oh. we're talking about traffic 24 okay. 7. Sure. it's 20 million people i think it's also yeah. 26 million oh, that's might, what they okay. told us so uh, not that it hey. makes a big difference after <laughs> <laughs> just random. Like, hey, well, well, hey, it's just it's just like when the waiter comes over. That's now we true. now we actually have a waiter. For we do have there. a waiter. I, I you know what? I just didn't want us to have to get up. And I said, yeah, hey, like, I mean, it's, it's just, <laughs> I brought the firefighter just in case shit gets too hot here. And just <laughs> put that out. Hey, hey, for the people that aren't kind of in the know, Montreal Impact uh, with the MLS. Uh, why? Why on such a short notice did they need you? Uh, like, what was the keeper situation there that they needed a keeper so badly? And and how, did you ever find out how your name even got brought up? Um, I never even asked about that part to be honest. So, um, I guess <laughs> I guess they have their scouting system uh, in in uh, well, I was in and around I America. It too, um, I the story about that was basically Evan Bush, their starter, mm -hmm. is fit, eligible to play. Um, Eric Kronberg. Who was the goalkeeper for Kansas City last year? Um, got traded to uh, in some kind of draft. I don't really understand the whole draft system anyway. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's another thing over here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't get it. Whatever. Okay. Um, he uh, um, he went to to Montreal. Um, signed a contract there. Um, but he played with Kansas City last year in in Champions League. Um, yeah. in the same in the same tournament in the same year. And you're obviously only allowed to play for one team. Like he was he. Um, oh, okay. And their third goalkeeper, young goalkeeper, um, got some kind of injury, being like super crazy. Um, he wanted was a was an experienced uh, uh, goalkeeper um, as a backup to know, okay, we're on the safe side if something happened to Evan. So I'm still waiting to hear why they chose you. <laughs> Just gonna, oh, no. oh, he just takes a drink. He's like, son he's like, of a bitch. You know what? I said, sorry. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you know what? Just wait till this camera goes off. <laughs> I'm not gonna do no I don't care if it's your house. And I'm your firefighter I can't help you with that anymore. <laughs> like, he's just going to sit and watch. He's got a cooler full of beer. He's just going to watch it happen. It's like, this is amazing. I'm just going to turn it's into like, WWE. I don't, don't want to break my ankle again. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that was, that was the whole story. So, we... Uh, um, uh, like I said, I came to Montreal on a Wednesday. We flew to Mexico yeah. City on a Sunday. I've been there for, I think it was three and a half weeks. And three and a half weeks in a in a super nice hotel with our own <laughs> chef from Montreal. It was great. You were eating well. <laughs> but three and a half weeks in a hotel, doesn't matter how great the place is. And you can't leave the hotel, but... Where would you uh, go? You couldn't. <laughs> it was a little strip mall on the other side. But it's like... Um, kind of shady. No, it was okay, but like, kind of, you always been, you always yeah. been careful, and because they always told you about those things, yeah, don't thing. do that, don't, don't do drink that. the water, don't don't drink the water, don't wear like any jewelry, like kind of watches or like uh, big rings or stuff like that. Um, I mean, that seems like you, anyways. I mean, I generally when I see you walking around the streets of Indianapolis, you have just like right two chains, four bracelets, diamond yeah, yeah. rings. Um, That's I'm, you, right? I'm the white B.A. Barreco's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a giant gold Germany flag. That's right here, just hanging there. Oh my. <laughs> um, so it was it was good training facilities for Crate. Um, yeah. We played the. Um, but three and a half weeks is a long time. So I'm talking about 2,600 or 2,700. And that was it's almost um, for us, right? It's, it's, it's even so, higher than that. I, and I think it's oh, right. No, it is. It's like 1,000. Yeah, it's like 8,000 feet. Super thin air. It's um, the oh. first key. I prepared our preseason starts middle of February, right? And yeah, we're yeah. talking about like middle end February started. Um, I had my Achilles, uh, Achilles issue for all of last season, so uh, I had treatment all the way. Don't worry. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so um. Oof. So oh, as I as I would have been. But um, and, uh, uh, so did uh, just put your head down first week. Also. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! But I fought through that, and and I think 
uh, the real easy entrance for me and an easy. You're good now, then. Like, so you should say, still you have some of the effects of that. Yeah, yeah. you should yeah. have to run like nonstop here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think you don't have to run much. <laughs> but I mean, randomly, you you lost your breath when you're in in, yeah, in right. bed, or just like just like going laying up the stairs, watching, <laughs> uh, going up, not even going up the stairs, but literally when you when you're laying in your bed and you watch some TV shows, you're like randomly. <gasps> lost your breath and uh, um because Wait it was minute. just so what was your hotel pay-per-view like bill <laughs> i mean <laughs> you're just sitting there watching tv huh? <laughs> okay gotcha <laughs> and then your breath goes away okay i've heard about those those are called movies <laughs> so there's generally ten dollars a piece anyways <laughs> oh man okay, oh you would move go there, there we'll move okay we'll go. Yeah. i don't want to be here anymore <laughs> <laughs> i'm scared colluder get me out of here can we open that basement door real quick? We're going to be heading there very <laughs> shortly. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you know, there's been a couple of um, moves with the team. And, um, you know, obviously you, you have one game under your belt right now, which uh, defensively things kind of looked, uh, you know. It was a tale of two halves. Substantially better from the first season, though. Yes, but it was a tale of two halves. First half versus second half. Second half was, was completely different. It was a completely different feel. I feel like this is sure, from the perspective of watching. You have a completely different view being of where you are from first half. You could tell there's some nerves to get out. There's some, there's some chemistry. You got to work it together. And then there was the debacle in the box. Um, they were just kind of, you know, yeah, I mean, it happens. It just, a ball comes in and it's a whiff, whiff. Next thing you know, it's a goal. My second half, there was definitely, there was a sense of urgency. There was, it was very aggressive, and I gotta say, from defense midfield was crazy, was crazy aggressive, and they really just they out hustled the hell out of Atlanta in the second half. Well, not only was the was the, uh, was the defensive, the the four yep. in, in the midfield being aggressive, but Christian, you were actually getting out <laughs> and being way more aggressive than you were the first half. Was it something that was talked about at halftime that Jurgen was like, "Hey, get out there a little bit more, get more aggressive," or was it kind of a conscious decision from you to kind of make? more moves outside the box and, and, and clearing balls and things like that. Um, well, to start that whole conversation new, you have to, you have to see two points when it comes to, uh, to that Atlanta game. Um, first thing you can have, have as many preseason games as you want. You, you never, you never have the same feeling and the same attitude as you have in the first game. It's like always the nerves are more yeah. like, um, you're more under tension, uh, um, you really get to know your teammates, um, when it comes to pressure situations. So, you have to consider that in, and then the pitch in Atlanta is just horrible. I mean, it's just it is turf, right? It is turf, okay. but um, it's not like Carol. No, it's it's, okay. it's like first generation turf. We're talking about a be horrible turf. Generation. Are you about to get in trouble with the NASL again? Well, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just it's just a really uh, colluders texting me right? it's, just, <laughs> it's just a it's just not a Bumpy. good okay. uh, field um so that makes things more difficult wow. i realized in the first of, not that i did mistakes by not coming out but i maybe could have gotten out to one or two or three more balls when it comes to uh but like i said it's always the first games the first half i haven't played with like I probably had like a preseason for two weeks of my team all yeah. in all. Because you basically have two guys defensively coming back from last year that were yeah. there pretty, you know, with Jaime and yeah. uh, and Norales. And then you've got two more guys that are basically brand new starting yeah. uh, with the team. Uh, so you had that, that yeah. chemistry. Well, How long Jaime's now moved out to the outside. Sure. So yeah. that's, that's different too. So you kind of go on. So <laughs> I just realized in halftime, okay, like I said, I think I did well in the first half, but I also realized... um. Okay, I could have come, I could have come out with my frame, maybe to a to a to a few more balls, not too much, but like to a couple of them, and that's what I did in second half. So yeah. uh, no, I mean, you, I could say it was funny. It was multiple times you get out there, and and <laughs> the reason why we heard the the name so much was because you were you were out there just snagging balls. It was uh, funny. It was just snatched up in there. I gotta say, that's, I've noticed a difference from last season to the even this first game. Um, just normal just kicks from the six are driven completely different. And man, you set up a couple incredible breaks on just throws you had. I was out there going, this looks like Casillas out here. Throwing this <laughs> perfect, perfect out lead balls, long throws that literally led into some great opportunities. And, and I don't know if that was a conscious effort of I've got, I've got to spark this quickly. Cause I mean, you could tell, I mean, you, your head was on a swivel though. So you may not have been with the team, but you could definitely tell where, no, I see the whole field and this is what I'm going to do. 
Somebody, did you feel mentally that you were good? It was your yeah, was better. yeah. I mean, I mean, everything to last year. The, the, I mean, we don't have to talk about too much. It was all new for all of us. How many times? Yeah. And and it's getting old now. We know that, but um, uh, that's what it is. It's, it's quit talking it's, about it. Everything, <laughs> everything is every a little bit more different than it usually is. Yeah. So I really think. Uh, I really think we are in, in front of a really good season. Um, people are getting more comfortable with, uh, with the whole environment, with the whole team, with, yeah. with what we are here in Indy, with our identity. Um, and it also for me, obviously, the quality, maybe I, maybe I didn't even have the chance last year to throw a ball out because there was nobody. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah. I can't tell you why it is like that, but it's, it's, a, it's a progress. And it's, a, it's noticeable in, in your eyes. It's like, okay, now I have a little bit more freedom to really distribute the ball. A little bit more like I want to than last year. You kind of pigeonholed to being like, well, I, I don't know if I can really throw it over there. I gotta throw it here or I gotta kick it here, because I know that person's gonna be able to do this with it. Versus now, you kind of have some more options. Well, like I said, I don't wanna uh, don't wanna talk about well, too yeah, much yeah. about last yeah, yeah. year and like uh, uh, put players in a in a bad light from last year. So much. I'm really really confident. In my so it's awesome. good to hear. <laughs> We have a question from uh, from Twitter right now, and it's kind of along the lines of what we're talking about. Um, uh, at Gino and Mav, who's Matt, actually asked, uh, does Christian think that the defense needs to improve going into the game versus the Cosmos? No, I think we're good. I think um, <laughs> I think I think we're good. I'm, I'm no hesitation there either. I'm, so it's legit. <laughs> I'm really confident and really really happy with the with the guys I have in front of me. And another question. This is from an Annalise Ball. Oh, the goalkeeper. Uh, yes. Upstairs. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> For, my wife. For, former, my wife. But, former Butler goalkeeper. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> she actually asked uh, for Christian, uh, do you still like, get excited to play Keeper Wars? If not, what is your favorite drill to play? It's funny, actually. Um, <laughs> I never played Keeper Wars. <gasps> what? Um, Okay. Uh -oh. It's it's a great exercise. Uh -oh. and, and, uh, She's but got all the stuff in the I car. Saw, we can go right now. I saw it. <laughs> get some light. Get some I saw it the first. The, I saw it the first time when I actually came to America. Yeah. That day. It's a great game. I really yeah. like it now, yeah. but I never played it before. Okay. So uh, um, I don't, I don't I don't really think I have a, like favorite exercise uh, yeah. or like a favorite uh, stuff to do. Um, um, summer project. So as Kirby has this baby. Uh -huh. Annalise is ready. Uh -huh. We're gonna throw you all three out there. We're going keeper wars. <laughs> all three of you. <laughs> I don't think I hey, need anything I'm, against I'm, Kirby. I'm, I think we're all losing. <laughs> she's going to win. Some way or somehow she's winning. So. Uh, in terms of preparation, too, I mean, you obviously get kind of – we were talking about it before we went on, went on the air is that you kind of get in that zone. And even people who don't know you can kind of tell that you turn that switch when warm-ups happen. Is it something that – like when does that switch happen? Is it when you walk into the stadium, or was it when you walk onto the pitch for warmups? Does it does it switch at that point? It it kind of not as extreme as in games, but it kind of switches every time when I put my gloves on, mm -hmm. uh, even to training or to. Uh, I mean, for stupid. No. Thing, uh, something bit of something funny. Um, but as soon as it comes to training or games, I just okay. This is. No, no, we're actually serious here because that's that's what we, uh, that's what we do, and that's what we get paid for. When it comes to games, I I do have a like interesting game face and and game character because I don't really realize too much around me, and and uh, always some kind some sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's quite embarrassing when I when I. Uh, watch and <laughs> are you right after it happens or you to give yourself kind of some leeway to plus the other thing too is you actually have now have that that freedom with the ESPN3 deal to watch it almost whenever you want um, no i i'm i'm super critical and i'm super <laughs> Super, um, I'm super doubting of myself as well. I have to be uh, really <laughs> straight honest with that. Um, and I never think I'm good enough. Um, so that would that would that's probably one of the things what keeps me going. Um, um, every training and and every uh, 
I be chance I can it's, get better. Literally, the phrase of every great athlete is the reason why they became great was because they never felt they were good enough, and it constantly drove them. It's 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 you can look at it almost as a sickness in a way, but it's like but it's a sickness in a good way because I'm going to continue to press myself. It can drive you crazy at some point yeah. as well, and it, yeah. it gives you more stress than you than you have to have. Yeah. Um, but um, I mean, I'm confident in what I can do, but I'm I'm not. Uh, I'm not the guy who can stand like in front of somebody and 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 say honestly, I, I know I'm great, um, because uh, I, I don't know it. Okay. And that's why I have to pr- <laughs> okay. and and I, and I don't have to prove it. I'm I'm not like trying to prove it to other people, but I try to constantly prove it to myself. Actually, um, <laughs> so uh, even after a bad training, I kind of sit in the car and said, "Are you good enough? I aren't you good enough anymore?" Or or like. Or, like I really, really doubt myself, um, and that's what what keeps me going, I guess. Hmm. You want to roll through? <laughs> what? It's a yeah. Depressive no. mode right now. No, 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 no that's, why, that's why. That's why. That's why I kind of feel like I want to get. Um, no, it's fine. Yeah. And and obviously, I'll throw this out here for anybody who's watching who's not actually following on Twitter as well. Uh, open up the phone lines too, so anybody wants to uh, call in and ask Christian a question, you can uh, dial three one seven eight six three nine two eight two. It's not depressing. Wait, wait, wait. It's not <laughs> depressing. It's real. And that's a, that's good. You don't have a fake persona. And I think that's why people like you. And there's a reason why you were first signing. You are you are genuine. You're legitimate. Um, and you're a great leader. And, and great leaders are those that know that there's flaws within themselves. So th- you, you're always looking to improve yourself first. And by you doing that, it reflects on everybody else. So no, it's not it's not depressing in the least, man. It's awesome. That's that's fantastic. So I'm glad to actually hear somebody knocking on here. Yeah, you know, I'm, I think I'm pretty good, I'm pretty <laughs> awesome. I'm, I, I'm I deserve awesome. to be here, and I probably should be. <clears throat> somewhere but if you want a, but if you want a good question, then so from Brian Cook um, at El Was Brian Cook, he wants to know, but do you have any special conditioner for your beard? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you use beard oil? Yeah. I comp my beard. <laughs> you yeah, okay. Okay. That. okay. Right. Um, no, I just I. I <laughs> <not my> hair <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See now it's no longer serious. There so, you go. so Brian, if you want to bring uh, Christian some condi- some beard conditioner at the game it's on Saturday, good stuff, right? <laughs> bring it. Probably use it after the game. Um, lather it all up. Isn't Remember? there even a logic that you use beer as a conditioner or something like yeah, that? Yeah, like, oh, Dude, there's an entire segment of beer conditioning stuff where yeah, it's got think, the special shampoo conditioners. Yeah, I think oh, I yeah. heard about that before. Right. Um, <laughs> we, might, we might have to go look into this just <laughs> yeah. to see. Just to find oh, out what's man. going on. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I, I, I can't, <laughs> I can't even answer it. Peter Evans said, never settle, always stay negative. <laughs> never settle, <laughs> always stay negative. <laughs> oh, that sounds like him all the it time. It does. Uh, another question from Twitter. Uh, knowing the f- uh, mental, physical toughness of being a goalkeeper, would you allow your kids to play in this position or would you want them to play elsewhere? Would you want them to play in another sport? Um, I think we talked about it in the last uh, podcast. Um, it, yeah. Can you just rewind it from that? I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm super supportive of whatever my kids are doing. Um, whatever they feel comfortable, whatever makes them As happy. I'm, should. I'm super supportive. <laughs> um, if they want to play soccer, I'll be the first uh, who brings them to soccer and, and, and picks them up and supports them in everything they need. I don't push them to play soccer out of a couple of reasons. Um, first reason is I don't really believe in pushing your kids in some sport they don't want to do. Um, mm. They are not excited about the fact that daddy is a professional soccer player because yeah, that's all they know about me. They, they, I mean, they were born when I was one already. Okay. So uh, they're not really too excited about that fact. It's <laughs> okay. just normal business for them. <laughs> right, right. Um, and I'm out of a very small city. Um, everybody knows everybody there, and obviously a lot of people know my name and and especially my last name, which is difficult for Americans to pronounce and very easy right. for Germans to remember because it is super unique. When my kids would start play soccer, I wish on them um, and and like, oh, this is the this is the daughter of of Christian, and and um, yeah. she she should be good or she should be uh, that that and that, and then. There's 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 immediate pressure on her. I want to put her in too much. Um, like I said, if she if if both of them are willing to soccer, okay, I'm not gonna stop them. And how old are your kids now? So at this point, uh, like I, 
That's, and Mike told us. That's right. But I finally got the boy. Yeah, I finally got the boy, too. Three and men start with daughters. Mm-hmm. Um, before the boy's awesome. <laughs> guys, so it's, it's he like, is actually awesome. <laughs> I have to agree to that. Big fan of Christian. Yeah. So <laughs> to find what their interests are, because you're right. Because it's like I don't want to press them into something that I like or what Annalise likes. I mean, we kind of get how you find their interest. They, they get involved in stuff that they did. They haven't. They haven't been there. They haven't seen press them here a little bit and see if they like it. It's it is a weird game that we play as parents. Like so, what do you think if your son would turn out to be a Barcelona fan? That won't happen. <laughs> um, I will build him a small hut. Um, <laughs> Uncle Popper, just Uncle Popper, Uncle Alex Popper will have it. I would, I would, I would want to know <laughs> why. <laughs> First off, he's like, I would, he's I would, I would uh, no, no, I would uh, want to know why because. Up and you want to, you end up taking on the, and that's kind of how you do. But there are certain relationships where you end up taking on the team, <laughs> and then I could appreciate that because I enjoy a rivalry. So yeah, no, if if I have a son who's in the house who's like, no, I'm just gonna make for great classico. I can see that happen. Honestly, oh, yeah. <laughs> God, all of a sudden you start getting care packages from Christian, a little baby uh, Barcelona. <laughs> yeah. you know? I will buy as much shit as I could <laughs> to, <laughs> you know just what? to support that whole thing. But more so, if for whatever reason he became a soccer player and he was amazing and Barcelona said they wanted him, I would become a Barcelona fan. <laughs> no, oh, I would that's, not. Oh, that's <laughs> what it is? That's what it is? All right. All right. Actually, no, I would say, we all hey, witness of get, that, yeah. Can you get me tickets? <laughs> be it. No. Okay. No, I wouldn't do that. Uh, that there's kind of... Uh, uh, Madrid. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah. the game on Saturday... Yeah, uh, with uh, Sunday, Saturday. What are you talking about? We're talking about the Indy Eleven game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know. And, and this is big for me. And there's a gentleman on the Cosmos now. I, he's kind of a small guy. I don't. <laughs> most people have never heard of him. He's uh, he's never set any records in the world for for, for soccer. For sure. No, he doesn't follow soccer. So oh, that's right. I actually right. played uh, uh, um, when he was in Germany. So oh really? I think I heard. I'm busted. I mean, push the button. Just push his button. It's okay. I. Why don't you ask him that? <laughs> Say, can you play for his reaction in his here? So no, I'm. I'm pretty excited about New Jersey at the game. But sitting in the Brickyard Battalion section is going to be this guy because I will have no, all my Indy gonna, This is not going to happen. This is honestly not going to happen. What? That no. you have a Real Madrid jersey um, on how you play them? No, of course not. Uh, Oh, well, you Chris. better make sure that's the truth Chris. if you tell me. Dude, yeah. I'm going to wear Real Madrid and I'm going to fall over the damn stands. <laughs> and I'm going to look at you. Uh, hey. You're, you're going to be that guy who wants to just go and just be like, how do you? No, no, I just want to. I just want to. If Figo just showed up, I would be the same way. I would feel the same way. But no, no, you wouldn't. But no, I want to see New York. But, it, you know, it's it's cool to see. Here in the United States, that's the difference, I think, for us. And in, in you growing up in Europe, you get to see a lot uh, of players and maybe not up, up in person but here to have somebody come over and play even if they are retired pretty much and come over we didn't have this this was I mean, like it's great on a serious note uh, it's it's great and I, I, and it's great for the whole league it's yeah. great for soccer in america right. it's such a big name as our world comes to right comes to america or commits, um, Orlando or yeah something. i mean right. it's it's a great thing and it only makes america and, and soccer in america bigger so right. um Plus, now you start having these rumors of like Ronaldo no. wanting to play in MLS once he's once his contract's up. Well, people and- need to realize what Ronaldo they're talking about. See, there's fat Brazilian Ronaldo who <laughs> who who wants to set up well, people he, in Miami. Well, and then there's plays Cristiano. Doesn't uh, Ronaldo uh, like the uh, uh, Fort Lauderdale? Yeah. But he's trying to get on some diet so that he's not like giant anymore <laughs> and actually can run on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's a trend, though. I mean, Ronaldo and Ronaldinho did the same thing. Rivaldo did the same thing. It's kind of the thing. You get success, you get money, and it's, hey, there's beer I and think, food. Yeah. I mean, and a woman and all that kind of stuff, yeah. but they can they can maintain their, their like prime for, let's say, like five, six years. Then yeah. they can be incredible, outstandingly good, but they can't keep it like Italians. Right, Italians they're known for. Um, I mean, Gattuso, how old is he now? Yeah, I mean, Pirlo is. I mean, <laughs> they're they're, they're honestly like they're they're legit 
40 and they're still playing on a very high level. So um, you do realize you play with a Brazilian who was on those, so this is heading down. Yeah, away. yeah, <laughs> okay. no, no, but but um, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, all of those three guys you just yeah. mentioned, they were yeah. all there was all the great, same right? the same structure. They were yep. great players, but they and couldn't maintain the whole uh, thing, and then they just they just went right. down. Yeah, Ronald Ronaldinho was the weirdest one for me because I mean he went from being player of the year. You know, it was like, what happened to the guy? Where did where did he go? Uh, uh, Obviously, we're not going to talk about last year, but who's the? Uh, <laughs> it kind of has a. What we do now? Year. I don't want to say anything uh, racist, but I'm about to say something racist. What? Uh, hold no, on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 totally don't drag us in. There. I'm totally kidding. That's what how people are like. Uh, yeah. No offense. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about last year, but about last no, no, year. No. <laughs> I'm just going to say, in uh, in terms of, I, I, I'm, I'm spring last. Yeah, is I'm racist. And, uh, no, I'm not talking no, no. about them racist. There was, 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 was an analogy. It was an analogy. Right. Um, anyway, let's just uh, scratch <laughs> that. I'll edit it in post. Nobody's paying attention. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, Obviously, the schedule this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like more thing for you guys. That is <laughs> yeah. I kind of so, He's like, who's next? Yeah. So, that's a, that's a, in the bird. Face, Goldberg. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. But Raul, obviously, he's a great player. You know, excited about that. That was Cristiano Ronaldo or Matt? Um, I mean, you probably. I kind of want to know. Give <laughs> <laughs> him with the ball, because uh, there's no defenders. So, uh, there's no uh, defenders. Tape on you know, you know, you know. Yeah. At some point, you know what he's good in and what he's probably gonna do, and and that he's, you know, that he's shooting from everywhere. Then you get prepared for that, but you're not like seeing. Okay, oh. this is Ronaldo, and 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 yeah. he's doing that, and he's doing that. It's like. Okay, this is that player who's doing the story. You're still running the game yeah. plan regardless. I get you. Yeah, that makes sense. And that's probably the best way to be. You know, I hear I would be a little concerned if my starting goalkeeper was like, "Oh, I totally get starstruck." I, mean, I, mean, I get starstruck. Chris, I'm like, Chris, oh. when you would stand in goal and Ronaldo would have is on the opposing team. You, I mean, the whole crowd would see you jumping around like Ronaldo has the ball. Ronaldo has be, the ball. I'd be on his waist and like, I love you. So, um. Okay. I just try to cleat him. I'm just <laughs> you go two, two, two feet. Two feet. Oh, cleat the straight red. <laughs> Give me high five. Anything autograph. So is is not watching a penalty. You just you don't want to watch. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> so that would be a superstition. See, I yeah. thought you had said that you weren't very superstitious. <laughs> Personally, had listened the last time. She goes, I thought Christian was it a super? It's kind of a superstition. But, um. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's it's a superstitious thing. Superstition for me is more like okay, I turn my leg, that kind of stuff. <laughs> I, I I never really was good at watching a penalty kick, especially <laughs> like in a tight situation like it was there. If we would up, we would be up like four one or five one or whatever. Um, if he scores, great. If he don't. Look right. I love that gift that somebody came out with. Yeah, <laughs> and it's so funny that somebody actually caught that. So was were like, you were you watching fan reaction? Or yeah, yeah. Well, I, they were like, oh! I try to, especially when you're away, you try to find something where you can uh, like see if it's a goal or not by not looking at the goal, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Um, in Atlanta was easy because we had a great fan base and a good sure. uh, and, a, and a good fan base there. There was um, a huge turnout there. Yeah, it was. <laughs> really it was more good. fans than they did. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Um, other games, I just watch our bench or something like. That. I try to find like a uh, uh, like a point. Um, and he's ordering beer. Yeah. Is he? He's really doing. It. <laughs> he's doing it. He's still um, 
So yeah, I, at some point, I thought I'd just try to find somebody uh, who and I know what's going to happen. Right. So behind the Heineken should be him. <laughs> Are you, yeah. are you good, Christian? Do you want another? You want a Heineken? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Uh, the beers on tap, well, on Chris's refrigerator tap, <laughs> is uh, Flat 12's uh, Full 90 that we talked about at the beginning of the show, official beer of the Permanent Relegation Podcast and the Brickyard Battalion. <clears throat> yes. Of course, all proceeds go to, or some partial, partial proceeds go to, uh, Chris is uh, drinking a... Uh, Hinged tap. Still sticking with my flat 12. Yeah, flat 12. And then between uh, Heineken and uh, flat He's there. Yeah. So, um, He's a fan. We do have another question. Yes. I mean, that's kind of weird. I mean, young they kids coming six, up. They need to be 6'5", six, six, <laughs> generally. They need six, I, don't have big, I don't have to to be honest. Okay. So that, okay. um, when we talked about it, uh, super specially gifted or talented, um, I just worked hard for mostly everything I have. Um, so. Maybe you were, but you just never saw that. Maybe you are specially gifted and talented. You just don't see it. There, there could be a, that's super deep and like Is totally it? the show here. But <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am special. <laughs> Chris's house and the and it, it just starts flowing. The uh, the full I appreciate philosophical... the self deprecation, but I'm not going to also allow somebody to sit here and go. I'm just not that. Yes, yes you are. You're. Most... I, I obviously I have I do have talent for being a soccer goalkeeper. Don't get me wrong, but okay, let's um, not go too far. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, I obviously don't have talent for being a soccer goalkeeper. Um, um, somebody no, but uh, working it. working hard, working hard, and never give up. I mean, it's it's it's. Very cliche. It's very cliche, but that's what it is. I mean, it's cliche because everybody tells you that because people do, play, but very difficult to do. Um, especially in situations where one day you... I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna work hard and make something of myself, Andy. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, right. I will. I know you. Will. <laughs> I will. I, I promise you, I will. <laughs> oh, oh, wasting time. oh, it's something. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, a special standpoint to you yes. to realize I didn't think it was possible to kind of go above and beyond the community interaction that they did last year because it was all over the place and and uh, in yeah. I'm just saying in terms of this year they've kind of stepped it up the the front office staff that in regards to what in, in community involvement uh, in regards to last. Yeah, oh, we should uh, we should hit the button. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hit a button. <laughs> but uh, have you? And I don't even know if we even asked this. The last a part of a team that has been so involved with the community before, um, in terms of giving back and and take and listening to the fans like like the Indy Eleven does, because I think it's it's very unique. Um, I've never been part to an expansion team expansion team so um probably in this case no i haven't um i i always said and 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 everybody in the front office knows it um, i think it's outstanding and incredible what the whole front office is doing and every part of the front office jobs um i think it's just great i mean they're working they're really really working hard i know they really put the hours in and and they put more hours in uh, than they have to um and it's great. It totally, it totally pays off. I mean, you can see it. Indy Eleven is already a big brand in the city. Yeah, that's it's it's not just just Indy Eleven. Oh, the soccer. There's team. a big change from last year to this year. I definitely see that. People, people that didn't talk last year, I mentioned. They go, oh yeah, I know about them. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, basically, everybody you talk about, if you're at the at the restaurant or a bar, or whatever, right. everybody knows what Indy Eleven is. Oh, well, look at your hair. Of course they know. They're like, oh, the haircut. They're like, oh, we know that guy. That's in <laughs> Don't be jealous. I know. I, <laughs> I did. I got so jealous. I said, I can't do it anymore. So is, is the next hairdo this? No. No. Nope. I'm not. I'm, actually, I'm going shorter. Yeah. I'm going all the way down by yeah by Saturday. Oh, you're gonna shave it? Yeah, well, I already had, but it's grown back. It's getting puffy. Nobody so. cares. Ooh, ouch. Fair enough. <laughs> you know, probably, no, he's exactly right. Nobody Mark. cares. I'm not good enough. Andy, <laughs> <laughs> Get me a beer. He's like, I'm sorry. Oh, oh hold on, hold on, Andy, Andy. Okay. I was like, I was, I was planning on running. Uh, you just had one. No, not for me. 
Oh. This guy, maybe if I give him another beer, he'll be nice. <laughs> No, no, I did. It's actually. too late. It's, it's, it's happened. It's on tape. Is it tape? Uh, digital, whatever. There you go. Enjoy. All right. Thank okay. you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no, um, no, keep on going with a haircut. Keep on, no, he's just going to keep it short. He's, oh, okay. Uh, he's going yeah, he's, he's no, to be I'm buzzed. Yeah, How was it before? Did I ever saw you? Do you ever had a head on or something? Like oh, wow. Do you yeah. ever, okay, well, we've talked about it the first Talk about last year, but I would talk. Oh, about right, yeah, yeah, I remember <laughs> that. Had a certain Delara effect. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Like, oh, I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, little guy, I'm gonna mess up your hair. And Chris is like, I thought it took like five like, minutes. Like six five. He's like, six five. I can't do it. Again. The best if you, if you go back and watch that. If you go to our look YouTube, on my face, uh, we did a question and answer for all the uh, for a lot of the uh, uh, players players and, on the and team. Staff yeah, and uh, Christian comes up, and first off, I have to zoom back because the the height differential is a little bit different. And yeah. then secondly, we mentioned Christian's haircut. We mentioned Chris's haircut. Christian immediately just starts rubbing Chris's hair, and he looks at the camera like this motherfucker. <laughs> I, I, I honestly thought, honestly, okay, he is four feet five, so I can mess with him. <laughs> wow. I mean, you just. <laughs> I know. I get that. Oh, uh, it's true. And then, and then like, really push game time was still, he's like, oh, no, I do this all for you guys. I do this. So that's the only reason why I'm here, because of you guys. I was like, oh, this guy's amazing. <laughs> all right. We need to be his yeah, friend. Yeah. He's, he's awesome. He's just like us. Yeah. Uh, dick. <laughs> like oh, us. Like us. Yeah. Oh, we got even more people coming over. What around. is this? What this, is going this on? Is, this, you planned this, didn't you? No, I, I actually <laughs> didn't plan any of That's all good. It's all right. We're getting honest. We want to make it just like Chatham. So this where um, I think especially you. And, oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Sorry, 4.5, dude. Just dying. You're still, still dying on that? So when is your career as a baseball player going to start? Yeah, man. You're big yes. into baseball. I am. I am. I mean, and the season just started for the Indians. We can help you. With that. No, they, it will start, actually. It didn't start yet. Didn't it? To be uh, a smart ass. I thought it, it was, I thought it was preseasons. Oh, or, that's right. No. The, the uh, opening day was yesterday for the MLB, right? Um, uh, Sunday. Sunday. The Cubs played Sunday. But the Yankees played yesterday. Was okay. it opening the day yesterday? World, that's right when the Yankees played. The that's when the season started. Oh, yeah, that's what it basically that. is. No. I like it. Chris brings his crony. Hey. You hear this guy? You hear this guy over here? You hear this guy over here? No. Uh, it's Sunday was when it started. But still, I think the Yankees had their opening game yesterday. Yes. Good. That's all I care about. Thank you. Good conversation. Have you gone um, out to Yankee Stadium yet for a game? Yeah. To one game, actually. Were you a fanboy? Oh my God. This is the best thing in the world. No, it was, it was great. I saw a couple of MLB games all over America. A total like, weird uh, a weird way happens. Um, I've been to a, an Angels game in Anaheim because we played the day after in LA. Okay, um, yeah. I've been in Oakland with my sister. That was my first baseball game when they played the Yankees. So that, that's how I became a Yankees fan. Um, I've that's been weird. to Pittsburgh okay. because that was close to, to Rochester where so I live. Yankees, A Rod steroids. We went to Anaheim, Josh Hamilton. Hamilton drugs and some steroids. We went to Oakland, major steroids back with Jose Canseco. And then wait a minute, then you said Pittsburgh, Barry Bonds, steroid. This is great. Is there any place that you visited that oh no, that'd just be any MLB I was gonna say, city? You can't go to that. What you're, game? You're, what game? What team should I should I go no, to? Man, no. no. Um why don't you go up to Chicago? Watch either a Sox or a Cubs no, game. No, we don't do that. <laughs> we don't do these. But things. it could be when the cards are playing. At least it'll be a good game. Have you been? To, have you been down to Cincinnati game? No, Is but I close? either will go, especially now with Mike Embersley playing in St. Louis uh, oh, yeah. back home. I will. Um, we definitely plan on going to St. Louis and see a game over there. Um, these, these are Cards fans behind us. Yeah. Major Cardinals fans. Yeah. So. Why don't you come up here and those guys sit over there? Yeah. <laughs> That, that, that ain't happening. We've, we, did, we did that once yeah, with we did Peter that. and Derek, and that, didn't work out too well. <laughs> that was a catastrophe. It, it might have been an improvement. I don't know. <laughs> I listen to it. No, <laughs> I, I do really like baseball. Um, yeah. And I, I'm really looking forward to the Indians home open on, on Thursday, I have to say. Yeah. 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 So are you going? Yeah, I do. Oh, nice. Cool. Of course. He's like, yeah, I'm going to be at every game I can. I'm going to be there. So you can leave practice, go right over to the game, pretty much. I'm, I'm not like I have to be at every game I can, but I try to. I can. I'm not I, saying I can't. I, I try I can. to be at like C1 baseball game a week. Let's put it that oh, way. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Good. So it was it that, I don't think we talked about it last show. Was it that uh, that instant passion where you're like, this is something 
that I really want to be a fan of because you don't really follow a lot of sports. And now baseball, you, you're... Well, really I do into- follow a lot of sports, actually. That's, uh, that, that's wrong. I'm just not the guy who's... No, the only thing I said, I'm not, listen- I'm, I'm not sitting in front of the TV and watching every soccer game I could get. Um, well, we didn't say that either, but we can rewind the tape. And no, but can- <laughs> that's, that's what we talked about last right. time. I'm not, a big, I'm not a big soccer guy on TV. Like, there comes a game, all right, okay, what's, what's the next thing? Um, uh, and I'm not watching every sports event I could get, but wow. if I, especially on TV, but if I have a chance to go to live event, that, I mean, I like to go to Pacers games, even though, and, and Yana might hate me for that. I'm not a big basketball guy at all. Um, I do like to go to Colts games because of Bjorn. Um, yeah. So, so I'm, I mean, I, in Rochester, I went to indoor lacrosse, box lacrosse. Before I came to Rochester, <laughs> I didn't even know that sport existed. <laughs> <laughs> So it opened your it opened your eyes to different things. As well, as much as I dislike outdoor lacrosse, like box lacrosse is actually a pretty fun and an intense sport. It's like five five against five, and it's it's basically like indoor soccer. Kind it's of basically game. ice hockey without oh. without ice. They they really get into fights, and they uh, it's 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 really a, awesome. Should have been a German game actually. <laughs> <laughs> With how aggression how aggressive they are. Yeah, I mean it's it's it was really really fun to watch though. And I like to go to a few games. Um. So I, I am very active when it comes to sports events. I'm just not the guy who sits in front of the TV and watches every every sports events, uh, every sport event there is. Do you get jackasses like us who come up to you and be like, hey, did you watch this game the other day? And uh, uh, who do you think is going to win between these guys and coming up and all that kind of stuff in terms of soccer? And you're like, kind of got to fake it. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, people come up to me and I think that just a natural thing okay he's a soccer player um we soccer gonna, are we gonna ask him <laughs> yeah, yeah. i just all give them the same answer i don't know i don't care i don't give a shit <laughs> so, you were at soccer trivia i was two answers oh two questions uh nobody knew did you so, win what was he what, 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 yeah of what course did, we won but uh, yeah they did Down we we Ninja? won by we won by so by such an like big difference that my two questions I answered wouldn't be, <laughs> wouldn't be uh, <laughs> important at all. James Cormack actually posted the picture. Yeah, and he called him the. I don't know what I don't know. What the shit is that? I, I don't I don't know what's wrong with with, with James. He's like randomly. I, think, I don't think anybody knows what's wrong with James. No. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> randomly, like in the middle of the quiz, he started. Of Dutch, right? Like, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Deutschland, there's a difference. I'm not Dutch. I'm like, um, so, and then the whole thing started. So, it, <laughs> <laughs> did you try to be Dutch for the rest of the time then, or did you just want to just what is wrong with you now, honestly? <laughs> Jesus, who know. wants to be Dutch? Yeah, oh. you have to, to be a little culture aspect in that whole show here. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sprinkle please some culture. please sit down guys listen oh you sit down already good okay. i appreciate that <laughs> there is a there is a part of the dutch anthem which says we are all from german blood oh okay go on now that that was the more you know. knowledge knowledge after eight <laughs> <laughs> knowledge after uh this is uh this is christian's uh what was it Christian's corner? Because the corner is dropping the fucking knowledge on the whole internet <laughs> right now. He should just drop the microphone on the ground. <laughs> show's guess. over. All right. Well, show's technically over. I mean, it's, it's nine o'clock, so we can probably start wrapping it up. All right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, we had another question, okay. even though we kind of talked about it earlier. Yep. But how do you feel the outcome is going to be against the Cosmos Saturday? It's our home opener, mm-hmm. right? So it's a, it's a. I mean, we should be should be proud about every game we play at home and uh, pull a win out of every game. But really, a big game for us. Uh, again, the atmosphere. I'm 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 really comfortable about the Cosmos game. One of the things I really always always wanted Cluder to do is get, and I know it's not really feasible because of the when you guys warm up and everything like that, but is to get players out to the tailgate to kind of see that aspect of things because it's a different beast than some of the other teams. I'm just not even gonna go over <laughs> just, Yeah we can't we can't do we can't we can't I mean I, I do 
it and uh, and and it would be fun but it's uh, because just for a chance for you guys to see what's going it's, on yeah I, 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 believe me i get it but um <laughs> It's just not possible. Yeah, it's just like wise. timing wise, it's not gonna because that's like in the prime time of preparation. Mm -hmm. So um difficult thing to uh, to like organize and to uh, to manage. Uh, take you some GoPro video so you can watch it. <laughs> not that he was ever been on Taurus site because he barely knows how to use his phone or maybe hey, he a upgraded. laptop. He upgraded. He did. he did. Come on, man. Can you mention that, please? And can hey, you uh, like, Christian did upgrade his phone? Yeah, it is, I did. He's he's at least, and I'm very very proud of him. Before we, go appreciate, to, appreciate, appreciate. Uh, before we go to appreciate appreciate. Before we go, you wanted to uh, uh, talk about. I do, and I actually have to uh, have That's to check okay. my phone for that because. Like, right. um, Real quick, yeah. Another question for me: uh, Do you believe in participation trophies or trophies for winners only? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a it's a tough question. Um, uh, winner, winners only. Well, Come it's a, it, it's not a tough question, but it's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's not it's not it's a, a popular politically answer. weird answer. Right? <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's that. not a political right answer. Um, I believe in winners. Oh yes, hands Wait, down. Can we get sprinkles? Sprinkles winners. Yes, Coffee, coffee that's just, for um, steak knives. <laughs> I believe in the fact that the second is the first loser. Oh, so, nice. Okay. Very so, all right. But, uh, yeah, you know but that's just what it is. I'm pretty sure there was a Scorpion song that said that. You had, you, this is two <laughs> yeah, episodes I did, I in a row to. with Christian. I love it. That you brought up I David know. Hasselhoff. I know. I did it because it was on Twitter. And you brought up Scorpion. It wasn't on Twitter. Did no, you Jason. had that on your mind anyway. You just needed a reason to uh, no. go into that. Just, okay. Just, just um, say, okay. On the bright side Seriously. here for an important thing. Um, <laughs> there is um, a really good friend of mine who's really, um, really into... Uh, um, a charity fund uh, um, organization for for Down syndrome awareness. Um, um, ask me to do this, and I'm really supportive of that because I really like that as well. Um, there is a syndrome awareness day at the mic. Um, on the phone went just off. Um, on the April 25th, um, you can buy tickets for 20 bucks. Um, that includes uh, tickets for the Indy 11 against Carolina and for the Marion University against the poor women's uh, university uh, game, which will be hold on before um, our game. And all proceed the um, Down Syndrome Indiana Foundation. All of it. All, all of all it. So, so um, they're, they're, wow. So, do they ha so are they buying a special ticket just for that aside from the Indy 11? Um, I guess. I, okay. I mean, there is, there is a, um, there's a link to... Um, there's a link to our homepage. Um, okay. Do you want to send uh, that over to us? We can send it out to everybody. Yeah, we can tweet it. I can, yeah. I will, I will do this. I will do this. So I, I just I just wanted to say that because he asked me to do it. And I'm involved in that. I'm really supportive of that. So I just want to just wanna mention that and, and hope that that gets really a good, a really good turnout. Absolutely. And my proceed from the celebrity shoot the puck at the Indie Fuel game Oh yeah, would have yeah. would have gone over there if I would hit an area where I actually would get money. But I did hit and I did make the shot. Yeah, but I only got a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> does it say? And it was a small. <laughs> it was a small. I was grabbing the jersey, but um, oh, there were like three. There was like three holes in the in mm -hmm. the uh, in the goal, and I mean I was super very super scared about that. Uh, I was like, okay, Christian, whatever you do, just don't fuck. Up. Right. Have you <laughs> shot a have you shot a puck before? Never, too? never. I haven't even been on ice yet. <laughs> um, I, I just did what they like. I mean, I asked a couple of guys before. Okay, how should I do this? How should I like have the uh, like? What? So, so I did it, and all of a sudden, it's like I said, "Oh my god." <laughs> It's actually good. What did so, I win? What did I win? T-shirt. So <laughs> no, it was great. I mean, they said it on the left jersey. side. On the left side, it was a jersey in the middle. Was, I think it's actually fifty thousand for a charity. Wow. Um, uh, wow. and on the Ryan Bond from the Indie Sports Club Week. Um, yeah. I think you get it. I'm not having a life. Good, a good amount of fun. Wow. But it's and, a fan. Uh, it's some like nice sports car. Yeah, they um. But for the celebrity part of um, and my uh, my win or my uh, I would win that would have would have that all. Yeah, he, 
que play here, but he supports the team. So amazing. <laughs> So just because he looks serious doesn't mean that he's unapproachable. So no, he's out and about. Yeah, so. I'm not a bad guy. Actually. No, not at all. I mean, you're a good I, guy. I like how he's like, I'm not a bad guy. Honestly, I had that. I saw when people start the conversation. <laughs> when people conversation, and I never met them before, it's like I was. I said, oh, shit, this is not going to end up well for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, and in the end of the conversation, I thought you were going to be a lot meaner than you actually are. <laughs> yeah. So have you thought of, I just ran them off yeah, the cuff fine. because last year, I, I'm sorry about the whole uh, boss boot thing, but do we have any like new nicknames we should call you? Because obviously now we have a Rambo on the team. We have, we have some, Rambo. Uh, Rambo is um, uh, uh, Brown. Yeah, Brian Brown. Good. I don't know. Peter said his nickname's Rambo. Rambo. Is it? I have uh -huh. no idea. I said, was this first blood? Rambo first blood? Or was I guess this it's Rambo. Yeah, and then you got, Rambo. And then you got uh, Woj Woj. Right. <laughs> the striker's so, so nice. Woj Woj. The, the striker's so nice. The striker's so nice. They named yeah, that, him twice. Nice, nice story of Atlanta when we just talked about, uh, and we haven't even catched up with that yet. Yeah. Um, in Atlanta, when we walked out in the field and, uh, and like the stadium, how do you call it? Stadium pronouncer or announcer yeah, yeah, or announcer, something like yeah. that. Um, uh, Vusha, Vusha. Read, read the, the number that okay, and for Indy 11 and goal number 24, Christian yeah. Nicht, uh, whatever, Christian and then Nick. and then he came, uh, and then he came. I think, I think Vosch is number 19, is it? Yes, um, <laughs> and he's like, everything it was number and then name, strict, like all in a row, and all. And he literally said, and number 19 for Indy 11. <laughs> so he's like, he's like, he obviously, like, honestly, like. It was a five second break. And then I can't say it right now because I don't, I don't even really know how to say that. I don't know. Um, I think it's what it is. But it's the striker so nice they named him. Oh, he's, he's, he's a good guy. <laughs> so, yeah, are you, you're still okay with Das Boot? I mean, I didn't choose that name. At the end. <laughs> we have to have it. Okay. <laughs> It's completely so wrong. I don't believe people. I don't believe in the in the lot. So I think oh. just make that uh, like uh, I guess. make that a brand in it. Yeah. No, no, there you go. You can copyright it. <laughs> right there you das go. Every time somebody says it, just ching. He just looks. Yes, my bank account looks bing, good. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> it's Christian. It's basically a ship with his head on the mast. <laughs> and it says Das Boot. <laughs> and it says, no, it says this. Who's next? Oh, <laughs> That's it. It's Perfect. Like, all right, Peter. All right, so, looking at you again. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, uh, this Saturday, seven thirty against the New York Cosmos, you'll see Christian and the rest of the Indy Eleven out there with the home opener, and should be a sellout. Um, should be rocking for anybody who hasn't been to an Indy Eleven game. It's going to be crazy. Break your battalion. Way big um, remember, before starting, I mean, as early as 3.30, 3.30, we're going to for a tailgate. I mean, you're going to have um, you're gonna have free beer. I free mean, beer. Flat 12, free food. Free city Wait, hold barbecue. free food? Yeah. I'll yeah. be there. City barbecue. Is gonna be <laughs> city barbecue. With, uh, with free food. City barbecue. Um, no, he's no, like, I don't want to make any hopes up. I'm not going to be there. Uh, food trucks will be down. If you've ever been to a t any kind of tailgate, it's the same type of vibe. It's just everybody's really super chill having a good time drinking a, like i said a bunch of free beers and it's the home point. opener so it's gonna be but it's it's gonna be less chill people are gonna be amped people are yeah. gonna be pumped and it's a nice weather um uh, forecast Six, it's not like, 60s and sunny apparently yeah yeah this, so, oh, good night to play yes. game yep good yep, night to play excited. game so, so if you're out there and you see us say hi uh scream your face off it's, uh, got his back to you in the brick battalion section or on on the other end those guys get pretty crazy too. I might scream back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, but uh, you can follow Christian on Twitter. Uh, niche, uh, un um, right. I'll spell it out because some people I might know. I think it's know. the 24th day, isn't it? I'm that's pretty on your, sure. That's on your name, like on the Twitter name, but your Twitter 
What's the difference? N-I-C-H-T underscore. Yes. Christian. Christian. K-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. Now, what you should do is change it. <laughs> what you should change it to is uh, N E E K T <laughs> underscore underscore <laughs> uh, Christy dash Ann. Christy. <laughs> uh, follow the podcast at PR Podcast Show. Uh, Peter Evans said, out guns out weather. Uh, <laughs> but, out guns. but Peter Evans hardly ever wears any kind of shirts with sleeves. So. And, you know what? Actually, we, we could bring Peter Evans with us. We're going to go look for beard stuff. His mustache alone, he's going to need some I'm, special oils for I his mustache. I honestly think he's like, we're listening. <laughs> he's probably, he's probably, got, he probably got some good suggestions for you for beard oils and, and mustache oils. mustache oils, oils right. Oh, man, Is it should... actually something like a mustache oil? Yes, yeah. dude. I, I, oh, yeah. I found this out. Yes, there are the, whole kits you can get that make your beard yeah. luscious and yes they lean in the opposing so goal just close. christian in the goal he's fucking he's like an angel i'm gonna he's end up there i'm gonna end the show with the soul glow up theme from so uh, coming to america at the end of the show <laughs> great uh but okay. uh uh at pr podcast at cage Zibala. And what does yeah. caged fear, by the way, mean? Yeah, good, good question. Uh, you know, I've known this guy forever, and I, I've wanted to ask him something. Like, I'm just gonna let it fucking. Uh, it was something in college that. Uh, Why uh, did you have fear that was caged up? Why didn't you let it out, Shia LaBeouf? Because I don't let it out. <laughs> it, it makes me. I mean, Ooh, am, I, am I driving a Lincoln? Sometimes it actually driving me. <laughs> I'm down here in Texas, got to take a shirt, so <laughs> you know, here Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's all right. enough of the worst Matthew McConaughey impersonations around. No, for both of us, it's okay. Um, but come out, support. There's yes. still some tickets available. Go to indie11.com. Uh, Peter Evans says, don't buy, go organic, natural oils from lack of bathing properly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we should shut it off now. Yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, but thanks. Uh, you I do can, like Peter, I have to be honest. Yes, honest but, Peter's, um, Peter's a great guy. And Peter, for those who don't know, is the dude that's screaming uh, and singing and leading the chants. And Derek Droger is a felon. Oh, man. <laughs> Go back to the last episode of the meeting to see how he impersonated an Italian guy. Uh, but any, but yes. just to get chicks. But anyway, uh, thanks an for Irish listening. guy. Did it work? No, it was. It was an Irish guy. Oh, he was Irish. He pretended to be Irish and he, he apparently did it for four hours. Yeah. And I don't really, I don't think we got full results at the end. I think it was just a wasted was, endeavor. He was a little too worried that actual uh, future employers might be watching this. And, and I said, that's cool because we just put it out on every social media. <laughs> so you're not getting a job at all. But did the chick thing work? I don't, uh, I don't know. We'll have to ask him. I just think it's just it just probably works. <laughs> I like the Brickyard Battalion page on Facebook. They've been uh, much more active now uh, about events going on and uh, a lot of um, Brickyard Battalion members, uh, so card-carrying members, things about uh, some news around the, uh, the city and things like that too. So stuff going on leading up to the game on Saturday. So get out there, get involved, and we'll see everybody at the game on Saturday. Absolutely. Have a good night. Thank Great. you. Huh. <laughs> you know, I'll let that go because because Raul was.